I want to talk about expanding. We're going to go over here now. <laughs> and now we're going to go over here. And in a minute, we're going to go over here. Here we are. I can hold you. <laughs> there you go. I want to talk about expanding in rough waters. Um, I, I think I really understand alignment for myself. And I just want to talk about friendships. And when you have friends and you're aligned and you're in alignment and you're having so much fun, but over the course of time, you are sensing things that are a little off and you no longer can feel aligned because what's happening with them, you're not respecting anymore. And so it's hard to navigate those rough waters. The most important thing to understand about that is that you've calibrated to the stability of someone who now isn't so stable. That's the problem with calibrating to humans or to needing your friends to be on the upper half of the emotional scale so that you can then be influenced there or at least not have a knee-jerk reaction to something else. So what you're really talking about is how can I be in alignment with my steady source energy stream how can I calibrate to that so consistently that it doesn't matter what's going on around me, I don't pick it up. Now, every now and again, when we would say that to Esther, she would come back with, well, what good is my emotional guidance system if I don't feel the rough waters? And we want you to be able to feel the rough waters. We just want you to not need the waters to be smooth in order for you to be steady. Because there's always something that you can do. There's always a way to maintain your stability. And that's what calibration is, you see. Esther asked backstage as she was sort of banging down the hallway to get here. And she asked that the chair be here just because it makes it easier. It's not that great in some ways, but it's the path of least resistance. And so you're wanting to look for stability first. And we're just saying, and you're already knowing, that when you're counting on other people to always be stable or to even mostly be stable, now you've got yourself depending on things that were not meant to be your source of alignment. In that situation, how, do you, how are you able to, like for me, how can I sort of distance myself from someone without feeling guilty, without feeling like I've left them. By being aware, when we talk about the path of least resistance or the path of most allowance, which is the same path, what are we talking about? We're talking about alignment with source energy. We're talking about alignment with who you really are. And so if you're thinking about what you're reaching for rather than what you're not reaching for, isn't that the answer? You see what we're getting at? It's like, rather than protesting something, advocate something. So you're not protesting the not good alignment, you're advocating alignment. You're advocating stability and steadiness. And so it takes a little while. Most humans have developed dependencies among each other. And you have a phrase, I need you to be there for me and I want to be there for you. And we would start amending that phrase with the people that we spend the most time with by saying, it's my intention to be so tuned in, tapped in, turned on that I've got my sea legs no matter what. And I'm not going to be dependent upon you. We talk about marriage vows. We think it would be really nice if you would say, I like you pretty good, let's see how it goes. Meaning, I'm not going to assign you the responsibility of my stability. And people who find that stability and exhibit it are really nice to be around. But now we want to take it a step further. 
This isn't what we're saying. We're not saying get stable and stay there. We're saying get stable and know how to get stable. And if you're not stable, that's all right because new always is unstable. New, it's always upending to a certain degree. And you are going to have new experiences every day forever and ever and ever and ever. So there's always going to be more stability and less stability. That's all part of it. That's all part of expansion. You got to have some step one in order to launch some rockets. And those rockets are causing your vibrational reality to expand. And then you want to turn your attention toward that. But just understand that you're not always wanting to be in step one and you're not always wanting or ever going to be able always to be in step three while you are here in this physical body. Your inner being is always in step three, four, five. Your inner being is always in step five. Your inner being is always stable no matter what you got going on. You never, ever, ever freak your own inner being out because your inner being knows. The big picture knows you, knows what you want. So if you have some resistance with someone and you focus solely on their positive aspects, that relationship will change. It will. One of two things will happen. In most cases, because that person that you've already come to know and love, there are harmonics. You've been cooperative components with one another enough that there's a very strong likelihood that when you are focusing more predominantly upon their positive aspects that you will catch them when they are in that vibe too. But let's say they're having a real rough patch. That's, there's something going on, something unrelated to you or something a little related to you, but related to a lot of things because they are their point of attraction and they are gathering the cooperative components to their instability. And maybe they grab a little bit of the instability of you sometimes and you suck each other into that instability. But if you get really steady at focusing predominantly upon the positive aspects of anyone or anything, what happens is either they join you more frequently or you go your separate ways because the law of attraction never gets it wrong but humans you want to compensate for the law of attraction you want to say no I made a commitment I will be with you no matter what and so I will give up my stability to follow you off the cliff because I said I would because that's what humans do because that's what being there for someone is. And we say, not a good idea because you do very much of that for very long. You start to really resent because life is supposed to be good to you. And it is good to you if you're not doing that thing that keeps the good from getting in. Yeah? Yeah. Helpful? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Right here.